Oh my god. No, he did not. Oh my god! What is going on? My name is Matt. Nice to meet you. I see you're playing some golf out here at the junior golf course. <laughs> I kind of suck today. Yeah, and then GM GM Golf on Instagram as well. For more content. We went out and got some wedges. I'm gonna slap them around the junior course a little bit. Alright, take these. Play the back! Play the back! Bring the backpack everywhere I go. <laughs> Don't ask if what's in the backpack because there's only been one person that he's let see. And that was me and a life changed forever. Yeah, the original backpack kid, I've got like seven pans here in <laughs> high school. Freshman year. Freshman year of high school, I've had this backpack. Honestly, don't even know what's going on. Guys, we are back with another YouTube video today. We're doing something extremely simple. We're not doing a store golf challenge. We're actually playing golf today. We're playing with just wedges out here at the six hole part three course, obviously playing the back tees. We just all got new wedges. All black wedges, got, blacked out of your mind, mint black. Look Whoa. at this thing. I got a pitching wedge and this is the only club I will ever own, trust me. F grind, schmeck grind, is it F grind yet? Yeah, it it's so it. pure though. These wedges, SM7s, yeah, just look at those wedges right there, guys. That's what we're gonna be using in today's video. Obviously playing six hole stroke, play straight up. Who's gonna win? Pull out the victory alone. First hole is a par three, but we're playing it as a par four because it's 212 yards and we don't have anything other than wedges. It's also extremely windy out here, probably about to start storming. I wanna go first. You get to always go first. Steven up here on the first hole. You kind of want to aim out over there. He's using a pitching wedge, obviously, swinging as hard as physically possible. It actually is, why did it get so windy? Because yeah, there's a storm brewing in. You can smell the storm. Straight! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what, take the glove, take that back to the store, mat. Okay. I still can get it to the green, that's the thing. Like, you, you mess up, remember this, when life knocks you down, you get back up and you do the same thing. Knife, if, if the knife locks you down, if life knocks you down, you grab somebody's- Matt's gonna go ahead and hit, what are you hitting? 52 degrees! Oh, Bro! <laughs> that is in the woods. Okay, that was crushed, but that might be in the weeds, guys. I think that's in the green hole. My that's man. in the weeds. Like, wait, wait. I gotta talk real close to Mike so everybody can hear me. Bro, look at this dude. <laughs> wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Why do I not use pitching wedge? <laughs> I don't know. Why? It's a, you can use any wedge you want. Oh, wait, wait. He can't use my pitching wedge? You can't use my pitching wedge because only Steven can use the pitch. I mean, wait, Garrett's using it. Alright, uh, so. <laughs> here, right down the middle. That is in the fairway. Not really sure what that is. Don't in my jaw is trying to get. Whoa! I'm a rock. Look at this dude. Way up to about 12 feet. Love it. All right, that was good. Currently the caddy in today's video, it feels different, it feels weird. All right, we need predictions right now, guys. What are the scores gonna be? Comment down below what you think we're gonna shoot in today's round. Well, if you add three, divide six, minus four, six under maybe? All right, we're about 75 <laughs> yards here, folks. I'm gonna hit a 60 degree, trying to get this up and down for a nice little birdie. We don't have putters today. That distance, dude, that might be in the hole. Oh, it's short. Looking for Matt's ball. We're right in the weeds. I think I like the weeds. Last time I was in the weeds, I became the weeds. And there's a lot of guilt balls. Did we just get lost? I think we're in the Amazon forest. A little update after being in the weeds for literally two minutes and no more. Yeah, what is going on? That's what happens when you jump into the weeds cheeks here in Kansas City. I got a lot of pecker fleckers, but I did find my golf ball back there. So I'm gonna grab a club and I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. Looks like Steven's ball is actually in play. Um, what a shot. Is that a pitching wedge? Yeah, that's for a par. But he's about 25 yards short for his second shot. What if I get this on the green? I'll buy you. What? All right, yep. Yeah, I was definitely joking. <laughs> seen me in the weeds before. You've seen me in the weeds again. I love the weeds. The weeds and us are one. Steven now with the P wedge in his hand hole for PAR. <laughs> All right, stop that. He goes ahead and chips it kind of like. Garrett now for a bird D. Just like that. Watch the follow on the camera. Watch it, Miss Steven. Oh, wow, that's we like got a chance. I got that for four. Trying to pat it down like that. You use your little putt. What? I'm hitting way far right. I can't whistle. You made me miss that because you're over there. Let me go ahead and make par though. Watch this. Oh! I thought I missed it, but oh. I didn't. It went straight in the cup in the hole, and I'm just gotta go and no one. I'm like Rob Blow, but I'm schmoing and rowing. And four or five, and it go one over through one hole. I'm trying to remember everything I ever learned in the past like month and you, it's not working. You just stood over the ball and just looked <laughs> down for a solid 10 seconds. <laughs> I thought that back was a human. Great pot, great man. Bruh. 
Ooh, one over through two. Even par! Biggity schnar! He says something eye. about my eyeballs. My eyeballs are looking like his horse lips. Beardless little freak. Good job, Gary. All right, guys. After hole one, I am now even par. Matt is even par. Steven is two over par. On to hole two, which is a par three, roughly 125 yards. I don't know what's going on today. Need something bigger than. Oh! Dude, I can do trick shots anywhere. Ah! All right, Steven, hole two. What are you hitting? Uh, pitching. I'm turning this into a pitching wedge only challenge. Steven Castaneda. That's crush! That actually is really solid Four. there, Steve. On the front side of the green with a birdie putt. All right, Matt hit a little 56 degree here on hole two. Here we go! That one is a little left, guys. It might catch a piece of the green. <laughs> it might not. All right, guys, haven't done one of these cutouts in a while, but essentially, GM Golf is getting pretty close to 175,000 subscribers. If you guys want to hit that subscribe button, just know that I upload content every other day, crazy golf content, whatever it may be. Also, Steven has started a YouTube channel, so if you want to go subscribe to him, that would be legendary. He hasn't uploaded any content, and he won't be uploading for another two weeks, but let's try and get him to 10,000 subscribers before he uploads his first video. Also, if this video gets 7,000 likes, we're all going to tape our hands to a pitching wedge, and play a round of golf. Dude, I really want to tape my hands to a pitching wedge. Me and Matt and Gary are going to tape our hands to a pitching wedge. Gosh, you're teaching. You're mo, you're literally, you're, you're mo, you're mo. What the heck is, were you just trying to clap my hands? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh uh, yeah, he's L-O-N-G. Guys, I'm going to try and speak a coherent sentence with all this crazy stuff going on here. I'm long of the green, hitting my second shot. Steven's on the front of the green, hitting his second shot. Matt's actually on the green, which we thought he was left of the green. He's also hitting his second shot. So we all got putts of birdie. I always try to play good golf. So do you, I. Okay, yeah, but we never do. It's not because we don't take it serious. Honestly, we take it really serious. Behind the camera, you guys, we actually take golf. Why can't we speak words? Sometimes. Things just aren't looking good. But the match that we played, we actually did good. We always have fun. If you're not playing good golf, at least have fun, and that way the time goes by a little quicker. You don't have to look at your game anymore, because mine suck it. <laughs> Go ahead and top that one three feet. That's really bad. That sucked, actually. It was really, really bad. Uh, you're really bad. Now take it like it is a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah, so you're really bad. Now get me, get me. You, not, you're not very good. Exactly. exactly. I love it. All right, Steven here putting up the hill. We're at two as well. This would be an insane birdie. And he left it short, just like Matt. Now you're actually not good at the game. And look at Garrett actually <laughs> sucking. Dude, we have no, a chance no, no. to win. The whole thing, we're getting in Garrett's head. We're messing we around. Are. Getting in his head, but on and, and mentally we're okay. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't. On a mental level, we are connected. He's actually kind of concerned as to what we're doing back here. All right, Garrett, for now. Bruh. All right, good right. job. I'm not even sure what's happening right now, but Matt putting up the hills, a little left to right action. Putting with the wedges, not ideal. <laughs> this putting period, not ideal. <laughs> you better watch your mouth. Ooh. All right, all right. Steven trying to finish this out for a par. Ooh. Dude, these holes are tiny. And that thing was over here like, I want to kind of go in, but I don't at the same time. After hole two, I'm now one over par after that terrible bogey. Matt is now even par after a nice par there. Steven is two over par after a nice par there. On to hole three, which is also a par three, roughly 125 yards. I'm gonna need to make something happen if I wanna make a little comeback here. I got a challenge for both of you guys. No one's probably understanding what's going on or what language you guys are speaking. Understandable. You ever just like scrub something? <laughs> yeah. I have a challenge for the next 30 seconds, speak a coherent sentence, and before you start, I just realized the height difference is kind of insane. <laughs> Bruh. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. <laughs> Shoot, all right. all right, I'm done. Oh, if you put money on the line, I'll, I'll speak English. All right, for $5, speak a coherent sentence, ask each other how you're doing, and you each get $5 if you can do it. Hi, my name is Steven. My name is Matt. Nice to meet you. I see you're playing some golf out here at the Junior Golf Course at Sunflower Hills. Yeah. How has your day been so far, man? It's been good. I went to Golf Galaxy, got some club. Uh, they're decent. Not what I was thinking because I came out here and literally shanked it. So I'm assuming that that's a, that, that, that's a pitching wedge then? Yes. I love it though. That's cool. I, I got uh, uh, the... Okay, here's hole two, just so you guys get a little explanation. That pin's kind of in the front left action. Steven going with a pitching wedge into the wind, 125 yards. That one's a little bit right, but it is a solid, well-struck shot. That's a lot of wind up there. Watch, I'll go get it. Ready? Ah! Yeah, you hit me in the face with the camera! Ah! <laughs> All right, let's dial that back. All right, Garrett out here. 
Okay, that's going straight left. Might hit the back of the green, might not. All right, we need one good shot on this whole video. Throw backwards. Jeez, oh, there's so much oh, wind. Steven, ay, 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 ay. Bad short of the green in the rough with the 60 degree, trying to get up and down for a three. Four, sit out a little bit. All right, you're doing good. Steven here with the pitching wedge to get up and down, also for a three. Geez, what was that? That was amazing. Actually not good at all. Might be the <laughs> worst know. golfer out here. I know. Yeah. Let's get it. All right, Garrett from the sand with the first time with his wedges. I already said. Oh my God. No. No, he did not. No, he did not. No. Ah! First bunker shot I've hit with these wedges and almost made it. All right, those are our balls for par. Uh -oh. Steven and I are about to tap in our balls into the hole. All right, Matt here down the hill for a par. And that one is not going to go in there, folks. Miss a little left. That's going to be a bogey. I'm a terrible golfer. You're really the worst bad. Time. Really bad. All right, we're all putting this at the same time, apparently. Three, two, one. And we both start bombing. Yo, okay. Uh, so. That's how I dance at parties. All right, guys, after hole three, I'm now one over par. Matt is one over par. Steven, still two over par. Right into the action on hole four. Kind of want to do a tree flip. Okay, I just thought a good idea right now. I'm going to do a tree flip with my boys. Saturdays are for the boys. We're going to try a tree flip. I haven't done a tree flip in forever, so I think I might die, but we're going to try. Move the sticks. There's a stick right there. Just jump backwards that way. Yeah, it's kind of got to be perfect. Steven knows about it as a former flipper. Oh my oh, god! That was clean! Oh jeez! Get inside! Alright guys, on to hole four here, which is a par three down the hill. The wind's a little right to left here. We kind of need to make a comeback if we're going to try and shoot our goals of under par golf. That's all I really want to do at this point is just shoot under par. It's about 105 yards. Hole in one possibility is a, is a thing because we have made a hole in one in a video on this hole. John Russell, shout out, hashtag. Go! It's it. If I move the pin back, move which it. is regulation. <laughs> Might need to simmer. Whoa. A lot. You hit the crap out of that one. Yep, that's a little long there, Steve. I literally hate this club. I'm going to get used to it, though. That's the thing. You can't give up when you start playing bad golf. <laughs> Why do we suck? <laughs> like, we're so Almost. bad. I stay sucking. <laughs> on the green i kind of suck today i'm looking at that for birdie i kind of got to make it if i want to shoot under par today so i stay get it a grip yeah up and down for par steven now Gosh, it hit muddy <laughs> all right now we're gonna pan over to garrett's mouth he's gonna get it at birdie he straight That's chipped so that matt here to get up and down for three we have not how many greens have we hit like negative can we go negative That's actually really solid there from Matt. Dude, I hit a golf shot! Dude, I might be the worst player here. Alright, Steven, mark my ball right in the action. Go. Oh my gosh, good putt though. Oh. Garrett with the par. Alright, after hole four, I am now one over par. Matt is one over par. Steven is three over par after a bogey there. If I want to shoot under par, if Matt wants to shoot under par, we need to make two birdies on the last two holes. Basically, we have about a 60 yard shot right here, Matt. What do you think you're gonna hit? Actually, 56 sounds like a pretty good club because we have the wind door back. Mm -hmm. And I think pitching wedge for you, if you just kind of hit like a smoother kind of swing. Yeah. The spin's not really gonna be there because the greens are so wet. So if you just hit it where you need to hit it, it's probably gonna sit for you. Wow, really smooth swing by Steven. Actually kind of dialing in, it's gonna hit the back edge. Great shot, man. Terrific shot. Hey. Let's try to hit, land it right near the hole. Hopefully, since it is wet, it doesn't just plug. Go ahead, go for it. Ooh, good job. Oh! Just like what you said, that almost went in the hole. It almost went in the hole. I thought that went in the hole. I so did I! What the heck? Almost my first hole in one on accident. What?
Solid shot there, Steve. Steven did make the edge of the green. Boom, there he is. Garrett on the top left over here. Boom. Meanwhile, Matt short his pants. That was right at it. I'm looking at Birdie right there. Steven looking at Birdie right there up the hill. Oh, that's a solid little putt. Oh, thought he made it there. He knows the course. He knows the putt read. He knows that it's going to break from his left to right. I don't know how much, but it's probably quite a bit. Pretty good with the wedges, though. He's actually pretty solid. He needs to start putting with him. Oh, God. I was just kidding about that. That's straight donkey cheeks. Dude, that's not no gimme either. What? This guy's a maniac. Oh my. That was a perfect putt. Oh Chill out. Alright guys, on to the last hole. I'm still one over par. Matt is even par. I gotta make something happen here if I want to tie Matt. Obviously after that nice little birdie he had there. Steven made a nice little par as well as me, so he's at three over par. Comment your favorite movie. I am legend. I just thought about it. I don't know why, but it's a legendary movie. Steven with the pitching much here. All right, Matt with the six degree here, trying to dial it in, trying to hit one close. Oh boy, that's good. Oh, that might go in the hole part two. Dude, I don't know. Those what's things happening. are literally sticking in the ground. Here's the thing: I think with these Titleists, if you're not super square, like if you don't square the club up and come down, you're not gonna catch the full bounce of the club. So that way, you're not gonna get really good contact like that. That's why I thinned my very first one because my club was like too upright. And when I came down, I thinned across the ball. Did I just give good golf knowledge? All right, Garrett up here trying to put it close. What club do you have? I got 60 degree, guys. Gotta make birdie. Or hole in one would be nice. Oh my gosh. That had to have been within like six inches of going in. And almost made a hole in one on hole five. And then what do you know? I almost made a hole in one on hole six. And it's kind of weird, but when I hit the shot, it was coming in from the left, kind of fading. Landed what I thought would be the perfect spot. It didn't spin right when it landed. It actually spun left. We got that for birdie. Matt's got that for birdie. Steven's got that for birdie. Matt putting down the hill for birdie here, folks. Right. And Steven to finish out with the par and to stay three over par. No, Matt, that's not happening. Matt obviously shot even. I gotta make that to shoot even. Bruh. First try. Garrett now needs to make this to tie and we'll play a playoff hole. Yeah, well. Playoff hole, Steven, what right. are we doing? Uh. That was clutch. Should we replay the hole? So, currently walking up to the sixth hole to replay it, see who's gonna win overall. Even par, that's actually way worse than I thought we were gonna shoot. I thought for sure I'd at least shoot like two, three under. What about you? My feet are wet. But anyway, we're back to the tee box here, trying to see if we can make a little hole in one because that would be a nice way to finish it. Steven's in the background, getting the juice. I'm going first here with the 60 degree, trying to knock this one up and in the hole. Pretty oh, solid right shot. Right really good. He's got a putt. Got a putt. He didn't think about that one at all. He just kind of got up there and swung. And that's the procedure. We both got putts at birdie. It all comes down to this. Oh my god, that is gonna be a tough putt here. Yeah. That's what you get for talking trash. You miss it that way. Ah! Camera, you saw it! He tried to tap it in camera, you saw that, didn't you? He missed that right over there, you guys. Well, there we go, guys. Missed a nice little six inch putt. That is about it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.